Hello my brothers and sisters on the Dragon's Path. My name is Tim Heijen and I believe very much in dragons. And welcome again in the Belgian forest. It's uh, almost time for Halloween and almost time for the opening all of the gates. Actually not really opening the gates, only getting the gates a little thinner so that we can feel them more and we can be closer to those who live beyond the gates. And even closer to those we, who live actually not inside of the, ga the, the gates. Those creatures are being called demons, but these creatures, I can understand them very much. Once I became one with the darkness and we became one with my demons, so-called demons, I became one also with understanding every single energy and entity that lives as a lost soul. And I'm, I have more pity than I fear them. I pity them. And that is just, uh, that is my thing, of course. Whenever someone or something is just, yeah, beneath all of this darkness and just cannot get out, whenever they see an opportunity with an open gate, they will go in, uh, into it. That is why we can make mistakes, my brothers and sisters, once we are opening, trying to open gates to the dragon realms. And you might accidentally choose a gate that is actually in the void of Leviathan and those entities will be drawn into this. I, I, I did this, I made mistakes like that, but it's out of these mistakes that I have learned. This was the dragon witchcraft that actually turned out bad, but not that bad because I learned from this. Energies, dark energies came through and so I actually, yes of course it, it was one in particular, one was very, very strong and was I was losing my breath. It was uh, pushing on my throat and it was such a, a figure um, uh, and, and I was trying to call out for help, but I wasn't able to until I eventually reached out and uh, of course out of this grip of this entity. But even then I do not fear them because I pity them, all of them, uh, because they are not like us. Every time they see an opportunity to have our life force, they will take it. They will sometimes even mimic your dragon. And um, they will try to, they have seen your dragon, they know what your dragon is like, they will read it out of your mind even, uh, how your dragon is like, and they will mimic like your dragon. And that is sometimes dangerous because then you will give energy to them. And so you will see them as the dragon, but they are not. They are um, lost souls, actually, not your dragon. And your dragon will be trapped once you are giving energy to them, but not anymore to your dragon. Very important to know that some of these entities cannot actually can't get out until you give them energy and that is what they sometimes want so they give they give them um, they have this even the draconic energy that they have but you have to find that there is something wrong about them very much wrong and so you have to know that the energy is not the same as your dragon so look out and especially in these days because these days the, like i said halloween is approaching halloween is coming <coughs> and so samain is also coming and so the energies are very, very close to us now. And so that is also the reason why a lot of brothers and sisters get um, their dragon draconic awakening now because of these open gates, because even the dragon gates are open. The dragon gates are not really open, but they are thinner, like I'm, I'm trying to say, um, that they are opening more actually to you. And so the, the dragon finds an opportunity in these times, it, to me it was November, it was later on, um, to go to, to, to you and eventually touch you and so uh, cause your awakening. But it's up to you to accept it, of course, because if you, for example, if you are very much uh, raised in a, a religious ho a household, of course, you will, uh, you will try to uh, go against it, but eventually it's your calling. It's what you are. It's who you are and um, I hope that you just release your dragon. That is you don't have to do anything. Just go out of your feelings and then from then on it's of course um, this strengthen up your um, Your relationship with your dragon and to strengthen up your bond with your dragon then of course you don't need to know anything what i just said or anything what about gods not even 
uh, you just need to know and acknowledge that there is a dragon by your side and it's trying to awake you and trying to let you remember who you are. Of course, this is going to be a journey after it, after you discovered your dragon, after you discovered your guardian, because to 90% it will be your guardian, 10% it will be, uh, actually 9% it will be your dragon god that eventually do, does it themselves they will awaken you and then one percent and that is very few uh, their own spirit awakens them and that is very special because that means that you have really have a very very stra strong um, draconic spirit inside of you that even awakens itself i never encountered anyone like that so um, most of the time it's your guardian and with that you only need to know the basics of the dragon path and that is that you are on the dragon path and that there is a dragon by your side you don't need to know anything else than that um, you know um, with Halloween approaching and the veils getting thinner um, you of course you might um, know that a, the dragon will have maybe even several dragons that there is already one dragon with you and open up your uh, dragon energy but it's up to you this year a later year to open the, the the gates for yourself the dragon gates uh, for yourself how many gates even are there how many gates are there in leviathan's realms in, in the voids you can say well that is actually a very good question because when once i was in this realm you can see yeah of course i encountered quite some i believe uh, some a nine or something like that, but it could be much more because the void of Leviathan seems endless and there are seems so many gates and uh, I counted five five to get closer to the dragon and that is that was actually the place It's not a real gate. It's more like uh, Some kind of a place that you go through and then you go to a different place but once you are on the dragon realms it's, you, you feel this, it feels like home once you are arriving in the Dragon Realms. It's a different dimension, yes, but it's still this world. It's still the same trees that are over there. But these trees, all of them have dragons in it. And that is the only, only difference actually with um, our realm, this place. Like, the universe is like a big thick book. And every page is a different realm. This is actually the most interesting page that everyone wants to be a part of it. And so the dragon is lo is further away. The dragon has actually replaced himself from the main page until a five pages later. That is actually how I describe these different dimensions. And these different dimensions that a lot of people just don't understand. And what they don't understand is being feared and being mocked in these in this, uh, moments. But don't listen to anyone else. Just listen to yourself. And that is what you need to do if you know there is a dragon by your side. And just be yourself. Just do whatever you want to do, what you have to do. There is a dragon by your side, of course. So, so now admit all of your feelings that you have to the dragon and so this will eventually give them the power and energy so you don't need to know more just be yourself and let the dragon come to you let them touch you and so there are there are no boundaries just do whatever you want whatever you feel for them that is what the dragon wants to have you they don't want you to open a book or something like that for everyone else that anyone else has written no they want your voice they want your words they want your rituals they want your honor that is what the dragon always wants they want you that is why they have moved heaven and earth they don't need halloween actually really they don't really need halloween but of course it's a help uh, that uh, some hain is a thing of thinning all the veils um but eventually um, the dragon one day will eventually move the heavens and earth of course to get to this side of the page of the book so they can reach out of uh, you and eventually touch you and awaken your draconic spirit just be yourself my brothers and sisters that is the only thing you need to do actually on the dragon's path my brothers and sisters be blessed